My name is Nisanlu. I am a Rohingya activist. I was born in Budilong Township, Rakhine State, Myanmar. And I work for the Free Rohingya uh, Coalition as a campaign and media relations coordinator. I left from Burma in 2001. Since then, I am in exile and working to restore the citizenship of the Rohingya people and uh, to end the ongoing genocide. Free Rohingya Coalition is a group of the Rohingya activists and the uh, friend of Rohingya, uh, non-Rohingya activists, and the scholar, academic, uh, academician, and uh, uh, former, uh, we have the some former minister and the uh, hiring of uh, official as well in the organization. We are worldwide based organization and also our team, some of our members are based in the Kostas Bazar camp. We are trying to end the ongoing genocide and restore the human dignity of the Rohingya people. The Rohingya are uh, living in Rakhine State, uh, uh, formerly known as the Arakan State, western part of Burma, Myanmar. Uh, we are indigenous ethnic group of Arakan State. Uh, we have been there for many centuries, but the, the Burmese government accusing that we are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh since the uh, since 19 uh, since early 1970 they have there have been several operations against the uh, rohingya people and uh, the genocide began in 1978 and we became stateless uh, within our own country since after they have and entered the new citizenship law in 1982 and there were many uh, occasion of the violence against the Rohingya people. The last wave of the violence is in 2017, and uh, it resulted 750 people, 750,000 people had to flee to Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Now more than a million Rohingya refugee are in Bangladesh, and we have been waiting for the uh, action taken by the international community. Until now, there have been a lot of talk by the international community, but there is no serious action against the the, the criminal uh, in Myanmar yet. So we are basically uh, stateless within our own country, and the majority people, the majority of the people are now uh, in Bangladesh and uh, some in some other country. The life of the refugee is very hard. There are the more than a million Rohingya refugee in Bangladesh, and the, the, the Bangladesh as a country, it is very small country, and it's just developing, now developing the uh, developing country. But, you know, it is overpopulated country. They have about the 170 million. Besides, uh, it became a burden for the, this country, but yet, you know, they have welcomed this uh, refugee and they have uh, uh, given them the shelter and you know they are providing all the humanitarian assistance uh, uh, by collaborating with the uh, UN organization and the other non-governmental organization but the the camp situation is really a dire situation it is the walls camp in the wall and that the wall largest camp is there and unlike other uh, refugee camp across the wall, uh, it, it, the condition is really very poor. And the people have no option to develop by themselves. And also, and there is, you know, not much support lies in 2017. And now uh, the Bangladesh is also facing the underfunding. That is why the, the condition is not really improving and the Bangladesh government and the Myanmar government have signed the repatriation agreement in early 2018 and they have tried twice 
to repatriate this uh, refugee to Myanmar, but the, the, all the refugee uh, refused to go back to Myanmar because the, the condition is uh, hasn't changed yet. And the, the UN investigator have said uh, recently very clearly that uh, the genocide is still ongoing and the, <clears throat> the, the remaining 600,000 are still uh, at the risk of the genocide. Uh, the coalition is, uh, uh, you know, well, we have the different, uh, uh, we have the member from the different organization, they do the different work. We focus the education as well, we focus the advocacy, uh, we, fo we focus everything, whatever we can to end the, uh, this uh, ongoing genocide. So we work for the legal aspect as well. Uh, we have the coordinator for international law, uh, and then we have also citizen ambassador. You know the, who are the uh, 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 in the legal field for many years. So we work everything, uh, whatever we can. Our aim is to end this ongoing genocide as quick as we can. But in Myanmar, not only the Rohingya are participated, but the the, uh, the worst is the Rohingya minority. We are facing the genocide, but the, there are the many other ethnic group as well. They are facing the crime against humanity, war crime. So the civil, the long, the war longest civil war is going on in Myanmar since ninety, uh, let's say since early nineteen sixty. So the especially they are trying to wipe off this Rohingya population from the country is because of our faith and the, our race. You know. our, our, you know, the physical appearance is look like the South Asian uh, and uh, we are between the Bangladesh and the Myanmar. They are just, you know, they want this country as a pure Buddhist, uh, Buddhist country. So uh, there is the discrimination against all the Muslim minority across the country, not only the Rohingya, but since the Rohingya are living in one area, it is very difficult to uh, cleanse them. So they have launched several operations against the Rohingya and there are many other Muslim minority across the country. They are also discriminated. They are also suffering, but they were not killed because, you know, they are living in, uh, across the country in the different places. And, you know, like uh, the, uh, the, the, the military and the government, they cannot commit the crime against those people. But for the Rohingya, it is very easy since we are at the one uh, specific location uh, uh, they can do whatever they can. And since 1992, uh, the government and the military have imposed the several restrictions against the Rohingya people, like freedom of the movement, access to education, access to health care, and, you know, access to the uh, uh, businesses, everything, you know, they have restricted, even like, you know, the, the, the couple want to get married, they need the special permission from the authority. There is the uh, restriction on birth. So the couple cannot have more than two children. So, you know, since the, the movement was restricted since 1992, the, we are completely isolated within the country and nobody knows that we exit in, in the country. In suddenly in 2012, uh, the military launched the violence against uh, uh, the Rohingya, and the and they have propagated that, you know, these Rohingya people are invading the country and they are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. So the majority in the country they believe that you know uh, uh, these people are immigrant and they are invading because they never heard about us uh, for, for the 
20 years, you know, we were isolated and we, we could not travel to uh, 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 across that country. Even like, you know, that the restriction is from one village to another. Uh, uh, if we want to go, you know, we need the permission from the village administration. Even the, the, the distance is just two, three minute walking distance. We need the permission. You know, this way, we, they keep us in the open air prison. We are now facing the, the worst situation ever. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, since Burma gained the independence from the uh, Britain in 1948, we could uh, uh, be elected and we could have voted. But in 2015 election, we, ha we had no right to vote, no right to be elected we were completely disenfranchised. So it happened in the uh, a, a, a first time in the history. And not only the Rohingya were, uh, uh, Rohingya were disenfranchised, but also uh, uh, in the recent uh, current parliament, there is no Muslim uh, parliament member at all. And the, the ruling party uh, led by the on San Suu Kyi, she has she didn't approve any Muslim candidate representing her party. So, although you know the wall thing, the situation will be better uh, because of the this democracy icon and the Nobel laureate on San Suu Kyi is leading the country. The situation getting worse, more worse than the military time. Yes, the Myanmar military and the government have committed the the uh, gravest international crime, the genocide, uh, crime against humanity. So this criminal must be brought to the justice. There is two uh, justice mechanism, International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice. So at the U uh, UN Security Council, uh, you know, there is the China and the Russia, they are always blocking any action because, you know, that China has the big deal with the uh, Burmese military and the government. And also the Russia is supplying the arms and the weapon to the Myanmar. So they are always opposite to the any action uh, at the UN Security Council. So UN Security Council is almost dead. They cannot refer the uh, Myanmar to the uh, Myanmar criminal uh, to the International Criminal Court, but there is a case at the International Criminal Court. Uh, it was invented by the uh, 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 the chief prosecutor and the and her team. Uh, the the element of the crime against humanity, deportation of the seven hundred thousand Rohingya people to Bangladesh. So the case is still at the table. They will decide uh, after 28 October that whether they are uh, going to uh, going for the deep investigation. So if they uh, have done the investigation in, in, in two, three years, uh, they can issue the arrest warrant for the uh, this Myanmar uh, military criminal. So uh, on the other hand, there are about the 150 country uh, signatory of the uh, Genocide Convention. Uh, they can file the case against Myanmar at the International Court of Justice. Myanmar is also signatory of the uh, this uh, International Court of uh, 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 signatory of the Genocide Convention. So uh, there are many country. They have been talking about the, this International Court of Justice and, you know, like Canada, Malaysia and Bangladesh and the Gambia, but we have not seen any practical move. They have been talking at many conference, um, at many events, but we are, we are uh, waiting for their uh, practical move. So, and also like, you know, that if the wall want to end this crisis, this genocide, they can uh, establish a, a tribunal like, you know, the former Yugoslavia and the Rwanda, and they, they can really end this crisis, but uh, they have not done yet. We are still waiting. The justice is very important for us. And also, the, 
the international production. Like, you know, if uh, the Bangladesh really want these people go back to their homeland, but you know, there is no guarantee that these people will not be persecuted again. There is also no guarantee that this, uh, uh, we have, uh, we will get back our citizenship. So the most important for us is justice, international protection and the full citizenship. Now, like we don't have the human dignity, we are not uh, treated as human being in our own land. We are treated like a subhuman by the Burmese military and the government. I have been running a blog called the Rohingya Broca now, uh, which was founded by my father actually. So uh, now we have changed the name as Rohingya today. And I have my own uh, team inside the country in Rakhine State, in Budirao, Maldo, and Ratira, and also in situ in, in different towns. So we are getting all the information from there. We clear all the information with the media and the, our blog, and also uh, with our coalition. And the coalition mainly, uh, uh, we focus, uh, uh, you know, the conferences. Uh, we have held the uh, three major conference, uh, one in Paris and one at the Columbia University in New York. And recently, uh, last month, uh, uh, one in uh, South Korea. So uh, we have also planned to hold um, uh, some more conference. And uh, we are mainly focusing the uh, uh, grassroots organization than the government. Because, you know, uh, some of our member they work with the government, they are lobbying, they are doing the advocacy work. But, uh, you know, since there are the inaction by the uh, government and the, those international organizations, we, uh, we are now mostly focusing on the grassroots organization uh, to start the boycott. Because since the international is failing again and again, we see the boycott is an option to end this crisis. So we are going to start soon this boycott.